Hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Global Fashion Workshop channel. Today we have a special guest, Vitaly Shriganov. Hello, my friends. Today we're going to make a tote bag. It's fashionable and very handy in any household. Also, we often have fabric leftovers after our projects, and we don't know what to do with them. That's why we decided to make this bag. It'll be a medium-sized bag, yes? Not too big? It will be not too small and not too big, but big enough to carry some groceries from a nearby grocery store or carry some stuff to work or to school. Of course, we'll use the whole piece of fabric, but you can stitch together your leftover pieces and use it as a single piece of fabric. It'll be very unique. Vitaly, can you show the sketch, please? Tell us about it. Take a look here at first. Look at the handle. I took this idea from a well-known furniture store. We'll make a long handle. The piece will be long, but one handle will be short and the other will be longer. Yes, one handle will be short, the other will be long, so you can put it over the shoulder. Plus, we'll make a dart. Not a very big dart, 5 centimeters in each direction, 10 centimeters in total. It is to create the volume at the bottom, correct? And the total dimension will be about 40 centimeters. I'll mark it here on the sketch. Such a perfect bag. Let's start. Of course. Do you understand the sketch? You can follow us step by step. Yes. It's a simple bag. You don't need to be very skilled to make it. In my opinion, this bag can be made by absolutely everyone, even if you've never worked with a sewing machine. It'll be a denim bag. I like it. We have different types of denim here. Yes, I want to show you our branded patches. Do you like them? They are made from recycled cardboard and plastic bags. It's pretty simple. It's pretty in Russian and in English. Look at our denim fabric once again. We always use this fabric, by the way. We're preparing a course on how to make mom jeans. It'll be released soon. Yes, it will be interesting. So let's start. You know, we want to use this piece of fabric to make three bags, but today we'll show you the first one. Let's think about how we'll divide this piece. Yes, what have we got? Here's a piece for handles and for finishing. It is a separate piece. We just came downstairs and asked our colleagues to give us some pieces of fabric, which are not for sale. We got this sample piece. It's 80 centimeters. This piece, if I'm not mistaken, is about 40 centimeters because it has a defect right in the middle. We'll use this piece for the finishing. I guess we can make three bags off this piece, that's for sure. That is a little spoiler. Wait for upcoming videos. We'll show you three different bags. This bag is more elegant than a plastic bag or a string bag. Do you agree? So I'm ready, are you? Ha, yes, me too. So let's talk more action. Yes, let's get started. I measure 50 centimeters. You can use the salvage for our seam allowance. I want to add, you can use any pieces of fabric, for example, cotton or whatever you have in your stash. Or you can make one piece of fabric out of different fabric pieces. In my opinion, this bag will look even more interesting. If you use different textures, nowadays, uh, tote bags are popular.
50 centimeters. Can I ask you to cut the fabric? Of course, I'm cutting. Should we cut the handles right now? In my experience, there's no rush. That's why we shouldn't cut handles immediately. We can cut handles later. Today's tote bag making is a long process. We might lose them. <laughs> okay, here's our bag. It's pretty much done, huh? Right here. Yes, put it aside. Let's make handles. We cut the main piece. We need to... We'll make the darts, because we decided to make it voluminous. We would like to, but maybe we won't manage to. There's probably not enough fabric in order to fold the top the usual way. Like that, yes? We'll make the facing from this fabric. Yes, we'll make a facing. It will also add structure to the bag and it will be easier to use. Perfect. So, what's next? Oh, you marked it here already. How wide is the facing going to be? Our patch is 5.5 centimeters. Let's use it like that. Good. Brilliant. It will be our facing. How long should we make the handles? Is it enough for big and for small handles? Let's make the facing first. You mean it will be the facing, right? Yes, this is 5.5 centimeters for facing. It looks fine on the other side. Yes, and it will be enough. We'll cut a little bit because I don't know exactly the necessary length of the fabric. We cut the handle the same way as a waistband. Let's make it 12 centimeters. Yes, the width is 12 centimeters. And we need two of them. Is the width of the fabric 1 meter 50 centimeters? Good, then let's cut it 150 centimeters long. Wait, maybe we should measure 1 meter two times. Yes, you're right. Let's do it. Maybe we can measure it somehow. Yes, it's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll do it. Here I am. Here's the measuring tape. I have an idea. So we've got two handles, and I ask Arisha to be my model. So we are making a shoulder bag. If you wear an oversized jacket or a coat, here is 60 centimeters. It will be comfortable to hang it on the shoulder. You mean long handles, right? Yes, mm -hmm. and I add short handles. So 60 centimeters plus for the short handle. In total, one meter. I think it's enough. One meter, yes? Yes, one meter would work perfectly. We need to make two strips, one meter each. Yes, 12 centimeters here. Let me help you. Thanks. <laughs> we might fight. So I suggest to cut them. What's the width? Oh, it's even wider here. It's 88 centimeters. So we end up with, what a great fabric, it's perfect, 88 centimeters, and in total we've got 1 meter and 76 centimeters. Yes, it's cool. It's really good. So we need 1 meter here. Let's cut 1 meter and cut here later. Well, we could take some here, like that, and cut it together. 
Good. So, we need to subtract... Let's just measure one meter because there's a defect here. We can... Oh, it ends here. We'll cut it up to this defect. So... It means the width of the piece for the main body is 50 centimeters. The length of the handles is one meter. So you didn't say that the height of the bag will be 40 centimeters. So the length of the piece is 80 centimeters. Yes, the length is 80 centimeters. It's important. Yes. The length is 80 centimeters if you can cut 88 centimeters. 88 centimeters is a good length. It would be slightly better. 88 centimeters would be perfect. This piece of fabric was 80 centimeters. That's why we use this length. You can make it longer, then you would have enough for the turn under the seam at the top. In our case, we'll fold 80 centimeters in a half. The width is 50 centimeters. The length of the handles is one meter. So, measure here. Let's do it. Let's measure along the middle line, with or without the salvage. With the salvage. It's longer than we expected. Let's make it 110 centimeters. Yes, let's do them 110 centimeters. Plenty is no problem. Let's measure 1 meter and 10 centimeters, like this. Wait, let's measure here. It is here. Yes, we have enough. So the length of the handles is 110 centimeters with seam allowance. Let's leave this piece for our other projects with denim. We can decorate our bag or attach a denim pocket, for example. A good idea. Okay. You want to keep me busy, don't you? Yes, you're right. When I have visitors in my workshop, I usually say, Oh, I'm glad to see you. Miss you. Have such pretty nails. You could probably help me. Help me pull out some threads. <laughs> or to remove basting. Let's race. Who's faster? I'm joking. It's not a competition. So... My strap is ready. I like cutting the tote bag. That's the only thing that has to be trimmed. If we had one piece, there wouldn't be any scraps left. It's a waste-free production. I could say, ideal. Excellent. This piece will come in handy later. We've got a lot of fabric. So... Is it time to go to the sewing machine? Don't hurry, I always say. The sewing process should be efficient. The less we move from the machine to the iron to the serger or whatever, the faster and more efficient the process will be. At first, we'll press all the necessary pieces. We need to press handle straps this way. So all those cuts. 
Like the waistband, right? Yes. All the raw ridges are turned inside, like that. And we'll get a perfect handle. We need to press our facing. And only then we can work with the bag. We'll press it behind the camera and meet you at the sewing machine. Behind the camera, we overlock the sides on the inside, both layers together. We just folded it together and overlocked. Nothing special. We also pressed one handle. Look what we did behind the scenes. We folded it up in three layers, in four layers. Look at this, Vitaly. Vitaly is a professional. I always use a template for pressing. It's very convenient. Vitaly, can you explain to our subscribers what is a template? It's just a piece of cardboard. I took our patch again, a piece of cardboard of the necessary size. In our case, that is three centimeters. You just put it on the fabric, fold it up to size of your template. It gives you the exact size and you don't have to take a ruler and keep measuring it. The mark disappears and you need to remeasure again. The piece of cardboard is very convenient. You can prepare templates of different sizes and you can keep reusing them for a long time. Yes, it's one of the most popular tailoring tips. And we've got the pressed facing of the top part. It's a little bigger than the bag. In the process, we'll trim it to the size we want. We only pressed 1.5 centimeters from one side. It needs to be 5.5 centimeters. We pressed 1.5 centimeters and we'll take it to 0.7 millimeters in the seam and it will be perfect. Let's continue. All of our working process have to be optimized because we are at the sewing machine now. We will sew everything what can be sewn. It saves us lots of time. We stitch a half a centimeter away from the overlocked stitch. We use the presser foot as a guide. So the side of the presser foot goes along the overlocked stitch. We are using a thicker thread here, Tex 50. It is a dark navy blue color, almost black I would say. We stitched 0.5 centimeters away from the overlocked stitch. Let's make it to the other side in advance. Don't skip on secure stitches. I want to remind you that we're preparing a course, How to Make Mom Jeans. I hope you'll like it, by the way. I like watching Vitaly in action. Pay your attention. I don't cut those threads. I'll hide them in the dark. There are less chances that the seam will open if we do it this way. Mm -hmm. The fabric is thick. If you might decide to carry something heavy in this bag, it won't tear. We keep stitching without cutting off the thread. We need to stitch the handle in a loop. Make sure it's not twisted. So we match the ends. And like so in this case, we have a selvage here. So I stitched right along the selvage. Okay, let's attach the facing right now, so we don't have to cut the thread. It might look like that our work is very disorganized. You know, when an artist draw a picture, they don't draw a grass or a flower separately, for example. They draw everything comprehensively, so that the picture is clear and understandable to you. In tailoring, the situation is exactly the same. So I start stitching about 5 centimeters from the edge. Look, 5 centimeters from the edge. Here, so hardening wouldn't appear here. We can begin anywhere along the edge of the bag. 
Absolutely. You don't need to secure this stitch. We'll stitch it over again at the end. Perfect. So, we are finishing the bag's opening. I want to cut those threads. We'll do it later. Now, now Vitaly is stitching the facing to the bag. In fact, if you make another type of bag, you can stitch the handle straps here now. Handle straps. Put the handle straps here and stitch them. And that's all. But I don't understand this method because the straps can rip off. The straps will stay very sturdy the way we do it. It's an important moment. Let me do like that. Mm -hmm. We pause here. And let me explain. If you are lazy, you could just fold like this and overlap it with the other end. It's quite simple and easy. But this is a denim bag. And I say you can turn any defect into your personal feature. Fabric will fade here and it will look nice. You can use this method, but this method is suitable for lazy tailors. Let's continue the stitching. But we aren't lazy, I think. We mark and cut this piece. I need a pen. We have plenty. Your pins are the best. Let's zoom in so everyone can see what is done, in order not to waste time on this circumference measurement. Yes, we have very approximate measurements here, but we don't have to make any calculations. We can make it just longer. We start stitching 5 centimeters away from the edge and ended it the same way, 5 to 6 centimeters to the edge. We cut some excesses, pinned, and we are going to stitch now. Do we use the regular stitch length? My stitch setting is on three. That means we have four stitches for one centimeter. I don't like those loose, those thread ends. Vitaly connected the facing ends and we need to finish this seam. Basically, we finished attaching the facing. That's all. So we cleaned up everything. I think it's better to understitch the seam. I'll start here. Let's understitch. Yes, let's do it. It'll make our lives easier. And secure the upper cut. Yes, it'll add some structure. Understitching means turning the seam allowance toward the facing and sew along the edge of the facing, one millimeter away from the original seam. I want to tell you a story about understitching. 
Yes, we're all ears. A long time ago in 8, 1998, I was taking a sewing class. We were making the dress of as a final project. Everybody was trying so hard, one young lady decided to cheat. She went to the private tailor and ordered a dress. Really? Yes, I'm not even joking. She said it was her work. Next, our teachers were elderly ladies with lots of experience, and they taught us techniques that were developed in the Soviet Union. The understitching technique was not widely used back then. Our teachers didn't teach us about it. We were top basting using diagonal stitches. Yes, you are right. So imagine the examination committee met. Some tailors from the Altie came and they were examining our garments. And it turned out that the young lady ordered this dress in the atelier called Silhouette. And the headmaster of this atelier is here. And then he says, oh, this is the dress I returned to the client yesterday. Oh my God. We didn't teach you that, but here's the facing, and that's how we're making it now. This is our technique. So she failed with that dress. Yes, she should learn to sew, no cheating. So actually, we are done. While everyone uses plastic bags, we'll make those luxury shopping bags. What about darts? You are right. Maybe we'll finish everything here first. Okay. Let's finish the top and then we'll do the rest, okay? You could do it this way. Take a look here. It depends on your equipment. Yes, let's turn it around. It depends on your equipment. If you don't have a powerful sewing machine, then you can fold it like this and stitch right here. It will look very nice on the wrong side. It will look great. You will get this seam roll here. If you guide the presser foot along this seam, it will be convenient. It is not too thick, so your sewing machine should not give you any trouble. Yes, but in our case, our equipment allows the stitch, the bag opening like that. And then we'll stitch the other side by 0.1 centimeters from the folded edge. If we had enough fabric, for example, 88 centimeters instead of 80 centimeters, we could fold and press the whole piece. Yes, you could finish it with turn under seam. It would be simple and perfect. So let's start. I'm going to start on the side. So the back stitch won't be too visible. Of course, if someone has a more equipped sewing machine, it would be very appropriate to apply with a sewing accessory. I mean the foot with a ruler. It will make the half stitch without any problems. We're going to eyeball it. Yes, but don't forget about the sewing accessories. They help a lot. You can use a magnetic seam guide, for example. It attaches to the metal throat plate on your sewing machine to ensure uniform seam width. Yes, yeah, some of our tailors use it. Of course, it makes your life much easier. Top stitching by a half of a centimeter from the edge. 0.5 or 0.6, it depends on the sewing machine. You can use your imagination. You can make the facing in a contrasting color or use a fabric with a print, whatever you like. You could take cotton fabric, it will also look good. Or different top stitching, right? Don't forget, it will be your personal stamp. If your seam is not ideal, don't get upset. Stitch over randomly five times and turn this defect into your own personal feature. 
and your bag becomes unique. Designer's bag. Yes, sounds good. I have one more story. From my experience, the reason why I switched to the denim fabric, it is very forgiving. You don't have to be perfect every time. Some time ago, it was fashionable to have a curved stitching or multiple stitching on jeans. It was adding shape and structure to garment. Back when tailors started taking individual orders, I worked in the fashion house as a designer. It was enough work just to draw different designs, but I was happy to make clothes for my friends as a hobby. Sometimes I had orders and sometimes I did it for free. At one point, it became a second job. So, we are done, the bag's opening. Let's lay it out. We can leave it like that, without darts. Our opening is formed. Let's stitch 0.1 centimeters from the edge and we get the perfect bag. Good. Let's go. By the way, back to my story. I started getting more orders. Not a hobby anymore. It was my little business. One day I asked my colleague to make a pair of jeans for me. I gave her the pattern and she did a perfect job. Jeans looked amazing. The customer picked up the jeans. That customer was my old friend. He looked at the jeans and said, Fiddly, the jeans are great. They fit perfectly. But it's not your work. It's not your stitching style. He caught you. Thanks to my stitching, my clients, with whom I work for about 10 to 12 years, they always know if these are my jeans or not. For my regular customers, I always make jeans myself. It's a rule. So the point is that even a slightly imperfect job can be your brand identity. We are done with it. Yes, we attached the facing to the bag. We stitched it along the top. Then we understitched it and we secured it along the bottom edge. So, what's next? Our bag is almost done. Look at it. Let's make a handle strap. Then we'll decide what to do next. Why did you cut here? Because I wanted to cut it. You shouldn't have. You don't like it? Look here. The seam allowance was big, about 1.5 centimeters. Let me explain why it's necessary. Yes, from one hand, we should shape it. Of course, we prefer when our work is delicate. But in this case, the main thing to avoid is thickness. We would not notice this thickness drop as much if we would leave these ends. If the allowances was longer, you mean? Yes, look here. This is a huge bulk here, and it is very noticeable. It is what it is. It's always been okay. The same thing as we did before. Stitch it together one millimeter from the edge. One side is done. In order to add structure to that strap and make sure it will not change its shape, let's add another stitch, parallel to the first stitch. A half a centimeter away from the first one. Yes, guide yourself using the presser foot. Leave your comments, please. Let us know what bag you like 
that you would like to make. And tell us, please, is this a master class that was interesting for you? Maybe you want to see more master classes with Vitaly. He's very knowledgeable as a tailor. Quick reminder, we're making a video course about mom jeans from him. Oh, I'm blushing. So leave your comments. Don't be shy. Thank you so much. We made one half, two parallel stitching along the pressed edge. Let's do it with the second strap. We will make the second strap behind the camera and we'll come back. We made two handle straps behind the camera. Leave them aside for now. We continue to work with the bag frame. You can leave it exactly like this, so it will be flat, like a plastic bag. It is convenient if you need to fold it, but we would like to add some volume and shape to it. I marked the fold like this. The center, we're folding here. Make sure you match the seam with the mark. The mark. Irisha, can you please pass me a pin? We pin it here. Pay your attention, please. The fold matched with the seam. It means the center of the bottom overlapped with the seam. It looks like an envelope. Attention, please. Where will you be stitching depends on how big you want to have the bottom of the bag. It's your choice. We make it 10 centimeters from side to side. So the width of the bottom will be 40 centimeters. It means... He measures 5 centimeters from the center to each side. That way. And let's pin it here. I need more pins. Of course. Okay, good. We are ready to stitch. We're stitching here. We need a strong stitch here. Well, I just secured it. But I think it's better to stitch a couple of times because that's where the main load will be. Yes, Vitaly stitched over three times, so let's make it with the second side. One more thing. Anyway, in this case, we will leave it like that. Look here. This end is hanging out. And it's kind of annoying, but you can secure it from the other side. Or you can stitch it by hands, or secure it with a rivet. Cool! We'll make the second dart behind the camera, and continue. We made two darts. Let's turn it out. It's pretty. Perfect shopper bag. That's how our darts look from the right side. Good, it's enough volume here. Yes, good. So we need to attach handle straps now. We have a connection seam here. Let's work with it. That's why I was saying the allowance should be wider inside. It will be easier to stitch. We need to decide on the length of the upper and lower handles. The upper handle should be longer, longer, and the lower, shorter. Of course. Should we mark the middle? You read my mind. It was not marked yet. Let's mark the center. Don't forget to mark the center. 
and from the center to both sides. Yes, here should be the width. Well, the average width of the armhole is 12 centimeters. Let's measure 12 centimeters. Six centimeters here and six there. Are they extreme points? Yes, it will be right here from the edge. This width should be enough for the arm and for the shoulder right. Good. From the wrong side, too. I measure six centimeters to each side from the center. Let's measure the handle. How long the strap is going to be? Fifteen centimeters. Let's take thirty-two centimeters. Sixteen centimeters. Thirty-two will be good. Okay. I mark it here. Okay. 16 centimeters. Like that? That is, on the one side we have a seam, on the other side the mark, 32 centimeters from that seam. Right. We will also need a ruler. The width of the ruler is about 2, 5 to 3 centimeters, 2.5 to 3 centimeters. We mark this square on the seam, 1, we're done. Where is it? Right here. Draw it the same way here. Let's make one side here and the other one will be done behind the camera. It'll be better to turn it out. It's more convenient to work from this side. So, everything is navy blue. It's very boring, I think. No, it's pretty. I can say it's nothing special. I want to add an accent. Something bright? Let's change. Let's change the thread. We'll use yellow thread. Yes. So we placed everything. Take a look there. Let's show it to subscribers in detail. Do you see? We measured this distance between the stitches using a ruler. We're going to stitch a square first and then we're going to stitch an X in the center. Good. Using a yellow thread. We use the thread in different color to add some interesting details. Okay. Final touches. With contrast thread, we need to make sure our stitching is very neat. The thread is thicker. Should we make the stitching length longer? No, we shouldn't. Be very careful because we have a lot of layers here. And from one corner to another. Right in the corner. Pay attention. It shouldn't be super accurate. If you did not stitch perfectly, please stitch it once again. You can re-stitch it multiple times. First, it will be more reliable and second, more authentic. There are so many layers. Be careful. So a couple of stitches back to secure it. In this case, it will be better to leave this thread and make a knot. Give me a needle, please. Like that. 
Так. One handle strap is done. Let's do it with the second one behind the camera. Also, we'll show you how to attach a patch. Great handle straps. See how it looks on the wrong side? It's perfect. From the right side, and the final touch. So we live in an age of globalization, and without naming, nothing will work. We'll need to keep the proportions. We align the patch with the seam here, like this, and that is how we will be stitching it on. I'll mark the hole width at once. Okay? We should find the centers. Don't be afraid to fold it. That's how it's going to be in the middle. Perfect. Let's turn it inside out. It will be more convenient. We'll use the copper thread this time. Arisha, help me please. Good. Final touches. So place it on top and align the centers. Because of the cardboard, we use a larger stitch length. I set it on four. We see a printed line here. It's convenient. You stitch right in that line. Vitaly, how much time does it take to make this bag, considering we did it on the camera? I think it'll take me 20 minutes in real life. It's really fast. It's perfect. Good news, because you can make it quickly. The main thing here is to organize your time and make this bag step by step. We actually went to the iron only once. We'll be going back to the iron now so we can get rid of those traces of soap. There's no special pressing here. I like making knots, especially on cardboard, which can unravel. And the beginning of this stitch is already secured. Let's go to the iron, press the bag, and make the final review. Look at our bag. It's beautiful. That's how it looks if you use short handle straps. And with long straps now. You can put the handles like that inside. Try it over the shoulder. It's gorgeous, really. Absolutely gorgeous. I like it. It's a perfect size. You can put a laptop or shoes, for example. Books, an apple, some sausages, whatever you want. Look. You're you such a beautiful lady, Arisha, and this bag suits you very well. Look here. I'm a male, and I could use it too. It's a stylish thing. It matches with different garments. Demon combines easily with anything. Try it again. It is so cool. You can make it smaller or bigger. Use this knowledge that Vitaly kindly shared with us today because it's interesting and useful. Yes, we use what we can be found in any household. Fabric, thread. You can add pretty 
Rivets? Then it will look more stylish. Really good job. See you soon. See you soon. Subscribe at our channel. Click the like button and write your comments. All the best from Vitaly, Shriginov, Irisha, and the rest of our team. Goodbye. Goodbye.